Hi, and welcome to this video. In this video, we're headed up to Powers. Powers, Oregon is a uh, little small logging community about 18 miles up into the mountains. Right at the base, in, base of the uh, Siskiyou National Forest. Hang on to your hats here. We're going for a roller coaster ride for a minute. To keep this video from being uh, too long. This is Highway 42 here. And, uh, get through Myrtle Point. In. Not too far out of town, we'll uh, turn on to the Powers Highway. And it's uh, 18 miles up one of the windiest roads you've ever been on. Okay, under the roller coaster. She's getting a little windy. say thank you to uh, everybody who subscribed to the channel and watches the video, shares the video. All boils down to spreading the prank smiles. Really what this channel is all about is spreading the prank smiles. And, you know, letting people who don't have a dog have a dog through the prank files. Okay, let's uh, pop up to the ranger station. And, uh, if any of you folks are ever head up this way, then definitely stop by the ranger station. Check that out. There's uh, just a, a huge, huge amount of information there about the area different things to see and do. Unfortunately, it's Sunday, so... And the off-season, we're... This was, uh... filmed on November 22nd. 22nd, 23rd, something like that. Anyway, here's the ranger station, and uh, being Sunday, they're in off season. They're closed, so. We'll have a little bit of a quick trip here. Not as much time as always as we'd like to have, but. A few more miles up the valley to. Uh, the powers, but not too far. Mighty pretty country up this way. Yeah, very definitely small town USA. Powers is a logging community. Charleston, where I live, is a fishing community. You wouldn't think the two were linked, but in the summertime, when it's hot and dry and the fire danger is real high, loggers can't work, but fishermen can, so not so much 
today, but in years past, there was uh, an awful lot of loggers that were fishermen during the summertime. So this is pretty much downtown Powers. Like I was saying, kind of, kind of like any small town. They are uh, a part of a bicycle uh, race or event or something. Tour de France. Third Saturday of June. Really, really nice pedaling up through uh, some of the prettiest country in well, some of the prettiest country in the world. Different parts of the world have different beauties. A couple second-hand stores and grocery store across the street. Neat little park. There's the, there's the cafe. There's not, uh, just not a lot of, a whole lot of stuff in a small town. Oh, here's the post office. There's a lot of good smells in this area. Pretty cool over there. Let's see, uh, Pioneer House. Or the Wagner House. Kind of depends on who you talk to. Unfortunately, sometimes my lips get in the way of me talking. Unfortunately, it's a uh, Sunday, so end off season, so they're closed. But they have great big windows you can look in. And lots of stuff all around the uh, all around the grounds here, so we'll be able to take a look and. If you get up this way, then stop in and take a look for yourself. I have to admit, there is a lot of stuff to sniff and be on around here. Okay. T time for dad to take the thumbnail shot for the uh, for this video okay dad so stick the camera in the window let's 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 see what's inside here. No, Dad, don't film me. Stick the camera in the window. I'm going to go around back and see what's what's around back. Can you guys see all that? Sheets over everything. But, as old as this place is, they say it's the, uh, the oldest cabin still... Still stand, you know, in halfway decent shape or whatever, in uh, in the whole area. 
Looks like it'd be pretty cool if it was open. We'll have to, uh, see it there. One, one, one side of the sign says Wagner House and the other side says Pioneer House. It must be the Wagner Pioneer House. And, if it was open, it wouldn't even cost anything. It's by donation to go in and look around. Yeah. yeah, I just got a new camera, so he's trying to figure out where the lens is so he doesn't get his fingers in it. He about had it figured out with the old camera, but it died, so... Check this out back here, Dad. Pretty cool stuff back here, too. No, up, up this way. No, follow me, Dad. Up this way. Okay, you look over there. I'm going to check this. There's something I gotta pee on here I'm sure you know all that old stuff some pretty old stuff hanging out here It's a pretty old washing machine. Let's see what else what else is around. Come on, Mom. Lots more stuff to sniff yet. Looks like they got a bunch of stuff down by the fence here. Some kind of old equipment. some of this stuff is, but at least dad's not asking me to get up and sit on it. Oh, there's a pretty old tractor. This kind of reminds me of the logging museum by Chilicum. Chilicum. There's a, a whole pioneer museum. I'll, I'll get Dad to put a, a link to the... Uh, 
the logging museum up by Jellicombe. Okay, I'll get Dad to put the link down in the description if you want to check it out. It, it's a whole bunch of stuff like this, but it's a it's a pretty huge place. We probably only got to look at half of the stuff that was there. We're on our way home from the homestead. There's some pretty weird stuff here. So much stuff to sniff and pee on. If you know what this stuff is, leave a comment. Yeah, I really want to say thank you again to everybody who's uh, watches the video and, and subscribe to the channel and shares the video and spreads the frank smiles. means a lot to me and means a lot to dad. Dad works pretty hard to uh, shoot the videos and do all the stuff it takes to you know, get videos up on YouTube. Just wanted to send a huge thank you to everybody. I'm not sure it would have been different for mom and dad living back in the days when this cabin was new. Probably wouldn't have been, probably would have been about the same for me. Does anybody know what that thing is? Mom and Dad were talking for a while trying to figure out what the heck that thing is. Yeah, it appears there's pretty rocks in this area too. That only makes sense that there'd be pretty rocks. And if you're still watching the video, good on you. You're going to see where Bill Smith carved his name right into the picnic table in 1980. Well, that long ago. Not in comparison to the little house sitting over there. But, alas, we have to head back. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like my videos, stick upon the thumbs up button. And for the newest, 
go ahead and follow that subscribe button. Thanks again. Cheers.